All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhapodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect. Uh, this is the brother Aina from GMS Dallas. God, this is brother Malak, GMS Detroit. And uh, we're just in the, in the spirit, man. Uh, got an in transit uh, lesson queued up. So, uh, Lord willing, is edifying, man. And um, pretty much this lesson is going to be going into the, the spiritual aspects of, of being a, a, a child in the sense of coming into the truth, you know, uh, from the Christian standpoint, they talk about being born again and these things, but they don't necessarily understand it. And a lot of us coming out of the, out of the Christian church, you know, we hear about these specific terms and they may confuse us. So we're just kind of here to clear the air, you know, through the spirit. Um, so, uh, first of all, we're going to go ahead and start in, uh, in that second Timothy Bible shop. God, this is uh second Timothy three and 14, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Yeah. It says continue in those things. So we're supposed to be persistent in the doctrine that we were taught when it comes to the, the, the men of the Lord, the men that we believe. Are, are the prophets, the true prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're supposed to continue in that doctrine and in that understanding, man, because Yahweh Shai prayed for those men. He prayed for those men to receive the understanding and uh, to receive the uh, the words that, you know, we're out, out speaking on the highways and byways. Read it again, Bible Shai. Yep, uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 14. But continue thou the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, mm -hmm. and that from a child yeah. thou... It says, has been assured Shut of. Up, yeah. Now, how are you assured? Get that word in the, in the Greek Bible shop. Okay. Because ultimately, it's about being fully persuaded. Well, uh, let me know what you got. Yeah, it's about being fully persuaded, man. You know? Because what does the scripture say in Hebrews, the 11th chapter? Gotcha. You said okay. assured, right? Right. Yeah. What does it say, what it say in Hebrews 11th chapter, man? It says, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. seen. Go ahead, uh, G4104 Pisto To make faithful, render trustworthy To make firm, establish To be firmly persuaded of To be assured of You see that? So we're firmly persuaded We are sure that this is the truth Go back to the verse Yep uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 14 But continue down the things which thou hast learned And hast been assured of Knowing of whom thou hast learned them And that from a child Thou hast known the holy scriptures, which right. are knowing of whom thou hast learned them. We haven't learned the scriptures just from some random, yeah, 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 you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, you know. Well, to the to the world is random, but we understand that it's spiritual, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we so, learned from well well studious men. Yeah, and yeah. the thing is, we went back like the Bereans in Acts of seventeen chapter. It out. Yeah, and searched out the things that were said to see if it's true, and that's what the apostles, starting with the apostle Har. Apostles and the elders, a great millstone on down. Yeah. That's what they have been telling us to go yeah. back and look it up. Yeah. What we're saying. They've always encouraged that. Yeah, you know that's what we're supposed to do, to, to, so that we can uh, uh, be able to teach others. Also, that's that's in the scriptures as well. Okay, now we can go to verse um, fifteen. 15 yep. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through right. faith. Now, how old is a child? A child is a is a. Um, uh, somebody that has yet to reach their adolescence. Yeah. They're somebody that's, that's yeah. yet to reach full before maturation. The, before the age of accountability. Yeah. So it says, but it, but it says that from a child thou has what? Thou hast known the holy scriptures. Yeah. So have we known the scriptures as since we were children? No, not physically. But when we come into the truth, again, we are born, we are reborn. And we cut off the old man and our spirit is basically renewed, like the scriptures say, day by day, but we are born again, man. That's the concept of being baptized, okay? Having a, a new spirit, basically, <laughs> on us to where our old ways and deeds and actions were, were pretty, are pretty much, they, they don't, they don't, um, we don't do them anymore. You know, we don't go and, and participate and, and fraternize with the same individuals a lot of the times that we, that we, that we did before we came into the truth. Okay, because their mind is set on the on on the kingdom, man. You have to become spiritually malleable, mm -hmm. which is an attribute of a child. Yeah. You see, I got some for you. Kind. Uh, John, uh, John three, real quick with the Lord when uh, the situation dealing with Nicodemus, 
John 3 and uh, I'll, I'll start right at it 3 it says Yahweh shall answer and said unto him verily verily I say unto thee except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh Nicodemus said unto him how can a man be born when he is old can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? All right, and backing up the brother, you know, the, the, the rebirth is that which is spiritual. Because Nicodemus, he being an elder amongst Israel, you know, and Yahushai even, uh, I'll say he scolded him a couple verses down. You know, he was supposed to know this. All right, Yahushai wasn't talking about a, a grown adult male climbing back into his womb, into his mother's womb. This is dealing with you spiritually, all right, which yeah. is why also... You know, you read Paul, right? He says, what? I didn't come to uh, baptize, but to preach uh, Hamashiach, all right? Mm -hmm. Basically, because th that go hands in hand. You got people who think, oh, if you don't get baptized, you're not making it. The baptism is spiritual. Yeah, right? well, the importance of the of the, of the the um, physical baptism was to represent the spiritual baptism that you're supposed to, that's actually the thing that, that's, that's going to benefit yeah. you. Because that's what makes you change. You can get done. You can dunk a nigga like a chicken nugget 20 times a day, and he'll still be that old man. No, you know but the thing bullshit. is, look, baptism, people don't understand what is actually the definition of baptism. Mm -hmm. When I say people, I mean yeah, people yeah, in the world. Yeah, yeah. They don't understand what baptism actually is. Like the actual Greek word. What is it? Baptizo. Baptizo, right? What does it mean? It means to submerge continually. Mm -hmm. When you get baptized physically, you don't stay underwater forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's spiritual, man. Okay? Again, this is like physical, physical circumcision. It doesn't do anything for you unless you are circumcised in the mind. Mm -hmm. And you're cutting off the flesh. Okay, so let's go from there. Oh, uh, you finished verse 15? Yeah, right? I got you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Finish verse 15. And then uh, we'll go uh, from there to First uh, Peter. Okay, I'll read it again. Uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 15. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach Yahushua. That's right, man. Yeah. That that faith is the key to salvation. And the thing is, with little children, they are very, they are very um, impressionable, man. Mm -hmm. And they pretty much have no choice but to be vulnerable. They're 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 unexperienced. They're physically weak. I got they you. don't have the understanding that the, that the adults do. Okay, and basically, Howard Shai, he is he is he is our mediator to the Father, man. You know, because without the Father, without the Spirit of the Lord, how would we know how to maneuver in this world? We wouldn't. You see. Uh, what? Yeah, First Peter two and one. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk, the sincere milk of the word. Right now, is this a letter to newborn babies? Yeah, yeah. That uh, Peter was writing here. No, it's metaphorical. He said the to to the to the elect scattered throughout the various parts of uh, of of the the old world. Okay. That's who that uh, letter was written to when you read 1 Peter 1 and 1 and verse 2. And so that that's what it's about, man. Being spiritually coming into your own, okay? Coming into your own being, being born because that's what happens when you're, when you, when you, when your mother gives birth to you, when your mother gives birth to you, you become your own individual. You separate from your mother's womb and become, and you become your own, you are you are in your own body. You see, before that, you were in your mother's body getting nourished. But when you become born, that's when you, of course, you need nutrients. You need nutrition. You need to get built up. Okay? But you put aside all of those things of the of the old man. Okay? When you become born again spiritually. Okay? Just like being physically born. You're a new person. Uh, I'm reading it. Go ahead. Yeah, First Peter two and two. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. You see that that you may grow, because a baby not gonna just stay a baby forever. Eventually, you're gonna mature. You're gonna learn how to, you know, uh, sleep through the night and 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 look around and move your head and sit up by yourself and crawl and start walking and talking. You see. And then you start doing other things, man. I got some for you. Okay. Because hey, this, this sincere milk, this is, you know, this is parabolic speech for the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of this truth. Mm -hmm. 
the same way that a baby needs actual milk to grow, we need this truth to learn how to walk in this world. Yep. Uh, second Corinth, uh, second Edris eight. Slaki, what did uh, Edris say? He, he was going to do second Edris eight and fifty one. Uh, he said, but but understand. Oh no, Slaki eight and four. So answered I and said, Swallow then down, O my soul, understanding and devour wisdom. For thou hast agreed to give ear and art willing to prophesy. For thou hast no longer space than only to live. You, you see that? So yeah. that shows you the, the comparison, man, mm -hmm. of, of of reading and getting that understanding to actually eating. Yeah, yeah. You know, like like the scriptures say, man, eat the whole roll. Eat the whole roll. Yeah. Like you said, brother, like the scripture said, like you just read, swallow down, O my soul, so understanding and devour wisdom. You see that? So that shows you, man, that this is like an unto our spiritual food. Mm -hmm. You see? Everything spiritual, man. It's, it's beyond what you see in the flesh. Um, let's go from there Matthew. to that. Yeah, Bible to that. Um, 19, Matthew 14. 19. Yeah, Bible Matthew 19. Take a look up. And um, you can actually uh, uh, start at verse 13. Kind of, yep. Matthew uh, 19 and 13. Then were there brought unto him little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray. And the disciples were well, so, 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 so let's paint the picture real quick. Mm -hmm. So, Yahushai, you know, at this point, he was known for healing people, healing the sick, you know, performing miracles. And so, what did it say? It said people brought little children unto him. Read yeah. again, Bible Kusha. Then were there brought unto him little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray. And the disciples were see that? Him. So, so, so that he should put his hands on them and pray, because that's what you're supposed to do to your, uh, you know, to your children, man. Yeah. You're supposed to pray over them, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the scriptures talk about um, through did. the laying on of the hands of the presbytery, man. Kind of... You know, the meaning the elders of the church. You see? You gonna say something, bro? Uh, no, it's straight, bro. You got it. Yeah. yeah. So that's what. So that's what. Um, that's what Yahweh Shai was about. Okay, because ultimately we're the we're the Lord's children. You see. So, so read read that second part of that verse. Uh, what, what, yeah. what, did, what did Jake do? It said that he should put his hands on them and pray, and the disciples rebuked them. Verse 14. Yeah, so the oh, disciples so. was like, man, nah, watch oh, out, yeah. man. Who are these kids? You know, yeah. Well, they were just cussing out the parents. Uh-huh, exactly. They were like, y'all, yeah. no, nah, hold on, nah. Get like, your kids, get, get your these kids. kids. Like, yeah. you know, what the fuck, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> they were over, they were, you know, they were very protective uh -huh. of Yahweh Shai. Uh -huh. You know, because they, they knew he was a high level, you know, man in the spirit they, they 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 knew that he was the messiah they believed you know those were like the first believers you know that uh and followers i'll say because you had other men that that believed that may not necessarily uh walk with yahweh shai but those were yahweh shai's you know right hand men okay and so um yeah they were very protective man they were basically like like his bodyguards man you know in a sense whenever the, the disciples were around yahweh shai you know, he look. He didn't really. He didn't. He, you know, he didn't really have to do. He didn't really have to do much or say much. You know what I mean? The disciples were learning from him and everything he said. But even when in the Garden of Gethsemane, yo, like you know, they drew their sword out against the uh, those centurions, man. You know, to protect Yahweh Shai. So, so they were very protective of Yahweh Shai, right? But go ahead and see what Yahweh Shai said. Matthew nineteen and fourteen. But Yahweh Shai said, "Suffer little children and forbid them not." To come unto me, for such is the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. So Yahweh Shai said, "Look, allow them to allow them to come and and and, and receive those blessings because through 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 your children, and this is another thing that proves reincarnation. But through your children, you're gonna you're gonna through those children. I'll say during that time, okay, uh, uh, we are we are in these lives today. We are in these we are in these bodies today, man. Those are the those are the pregenitors of of our, you know, uh, father and great grandfather in these times that we're in now, you know, a lot of a lot of those children, man, you know, especially if Yahweh Shai prayed for those children, you see, because Yahweh Shai said what? He said, "I pray not for the world," or you see, Yahweh Shai prayed for them that Thou has given me. Yeah, yeah. Which you know, starting with the elect, that's first priority, man. I you know, for you. come on, brother. Hey, grabbing that, uh, we're gonna be getting the same account, but from another angle in Luke. Luke 18 and 15, and they brought unto him also infants that he would touch them. But when his disciples saw it, they rebuked him. But Yahushai called them unto him and said, Suffer little children to come unto me, and forbid them not. For of such is the kingdom of Yahweh. Verily I say unto you, 
Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of Yahweh as a little child shall in no wise enter therein. All right, taking it back to one of the original points that the brother was making, a child does, a, a child is very impressionable. Anything you put in front of a child, they will absorb and live the rest of their life in, which is why Esau Edom goes so hard in brainwashing us at an early age. All right, so the way that a little child soak up, soaks up this truth like a sponge is the way that we ought to do in all of our uh, endeavors. You got to embrace all of it. Hey, the elder apostle uh, Tar always says it, the good, the bad, and the ugly of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. There can't be no part of it that you're ashamed of to the point to where you won't profess it. Right. Because then the Lord won't profess you in that hour. Right. And that's in the scriptures as well, man. You know, so that, that's what it comes down to, the scriptures, man. What's, yeah. What does the Bible say? Yeah. What the, uh, you know what, what, I mean? the, what the Bible say? Yeah. Not what your heart says. What Not what your, uh, I was, there was, a, there was this podcast, uh, it was a clip from Andrew Tate. He said, uh, he said, my duty does not uh, revolve around my feelings. He said, my duty to God and my duty to my bloodline is what it is, regardless of how I feel. Yep. And that's the same mentality we got to have. Yep. Yep. And that's a legacy mindset that's biblical mm -hmm. and yeah. principles yep. that come from the Bible, come from our forefathers anyway, mm -hmm. you know? And so, you know, uh, that was pretty much the point, you yeah. know what I mean? When it comes to, you know, having the mindset and the innocency of a child coming into the truth, having your mind open to the to to these concepts that the world will teach you to to not listen to, to to turn away from. The world doesn't want you to listen to the, to what the scriptures say, okay? Because when you really deep dive into it, it's talking about what the Lord wants, okay? And the and and, and the Lord doesn't want this place to continue. <laughs> So, um, did you have any closing points on the other precepts? Uh, uh, just real quick, uh, First Peter, uh, I'll take this one. First Peter 5 and 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that he may exalt you in due time. You see? All right. Yeah, man. Everybody want to grow up so they ain't going fast, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have some patience. You and know, you when you were a child, you were yeah. like, man, I wish, man, I wish, um, I wish go. I was an adult, man. Yeah. You know, I, I want to stay out. I want to stay up late. Then you I don't found out. Yeah. I don't want to go to sleep. I don't want to go to sleep at 8 o'clock. I wish I was an adult. And then your parents, you know, they will always say, well, damn, you don't, don't, don't think you want to grow up too quick. Because mm -hmm. guess what? When you're an adult, then you're responsible for yourself. You're responsible to go into work. You're responsible for, yeah. you know, taking care of yourself, paying bills. So, no, nah, man, enjoy being a, being a child in this truth, okay? Being a babe in this truth, okay? And for uh, individuals that, you know, came into the truth, you know, a uh, 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 post you know, uh, <laughs> post uh, Donald Trump, you know, yeah. post 07. Yeah. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Post 90, post 90s. Yeah. Know. But, you know, you know, spiritually speaking, a child is like you said, bro, you know, 12 years or, or younger. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Kind of you know what I mean? So that's that's the mindset that we should all have. And of course, you know, our apostles and our, and our elders, they are they are actually spiritually mature men. You see that? So they have the experience to be able to, to to guide us in the right way through their through, you know through their experience. So um, yeah, that's pretty much the point, yeah. man. Uh, Lord willing, this is edifying. With that, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.